Hello and welcome to this new basics video about the shuffle copy node. So just like with the shuffle node I showed in my previous video, we have the same matrix up here. The main difference is that now we have two pipes with one and two. So just like with a merge node, you want to comp out of the B pipe. In the case of a shuffle copy, you want to comp on a number two pipe and bring information through the number one pipe. We want to bring passes from our plane into our main comp, so that comes through the pipe number one. Now, by default here, we have one in and two in, so one in is the pipe number one, two in is the pipe number two. So what's going on now is that on the pipe number two, we have RGB carrying through and outputting on RGB here. And through the pipe number one, we have alpha coming here and outputting. So if we check this out, we now have the alpha of our CG element here as the alpha of a smoke element. So that's one of the good use of the shuffle copy node. You would just copy the alpha from one element to another one. And that's really good. Now you can also copy whole layers. Let's say you wanted to copy the whole normal path you had from the CG element into this to use it later. So what you would do is instead of RGBA, you would go and select normals. And by default, here in this case at least, you see it's called XYZ. That doesn't matter. It's just the name. It's the same as RGBA. So if we select that X goes into red, Y goes into green, and blue goes into, no, sorry, Z goes into blue, we now have our normal pass as the RGB pass. But what you would like to do is to get it into your normal pass. And now your RGBA remains unchanged. But if you go down here, in that list of layers, you now have the normal pass because it's been added to your B pipe. So you can now view your normals into your B pipe and use it in your comp. So that's one way to copy whole sets of layers. Now in this video and the shuffle one, I only showed how to use the upper part of the shuffle matrix. So the second part is actually a second output. So you could say you want your normals to output into your normals, but maybe you want them into another layer. So you could choose any other layer or you can create a new one. When you create a new layer, you can give it a name. And here you can just auto RGB A. In this case, it's only XYZ. I don't want the alpha. I could call them XYZ if I wanted to, but again, that doesn't matter really. Go ahead and do that. By default, it's piping my number two pipe RGBA into it. So if we check out this, it's now the smoke. But if we were to select these, now we have the normals. So what happens is that the normals comes through pipe number one and copies into normals and into the test layer. So that shows you a whole set of shuffle. You could decide that your test layer instead of being the normals is just the red channel of your number two pipe and you would have that in your test. So hopefully that kind of shows you how the shuffle and shuffle copy nodes work. Most of the time I don't use the second pass. I don't, I just do very simple operation and I use more than one shuffle copy. I think it's easier to read, especially when you have to come back to a comp after a while and you don't really remember what you've done. So I keep it simple most of the time, but so you know how to use the whole feature. In the next video, I'm going to show the copy node. And as always, if you have a question, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching. Bye.